We have an interesting slide here also. This patient showed up today and you can see the tremendous numbers of spirochetes in this patient's mouth. Of interest also in this mouth are uh, trichomonads which uh, they have a peculiar kind of motion uh, and there's lots of polymorphonuclear leukocytes in this, this uh, particular particular slide. Um, we uh, over in here we have just a tremendous number of spirochetes. Most of these things as I focus up and down it becomes pretty clear what they are. Lots of different sizes and different, and different kinds. Maybe as many as 40 or 50 different kinds of spirochetes on a slide like this. And who knows what all of them are, but we know that they're an extremely active cell, tremendously modal, and tremendously aggressive. And as we move through these these cells, and we see the up at the top of the screen here, we're going to be looking at lots of spirochetes up in here. These uh, these guys, most of us don't get a chance to see this unless you spend the money for one of these microscopes. But if you do, you suddenly begin to realize toothpaste. This is the results of toothpaste. This is somebody who brushed their mouth three times a day with toothpaste and uh, I think pretty clear that it's pretty much a mess however three days on baking soda in this case is going to be there won't be one living thing alive in this in this mouth one of the every one of these bed animals will be dead and gone we can uh, Clorox bleach in the Dakin solution that uh, will bring it out of the patient will be uh, you know they'll be gone there won't be any more spirochetes in their mouth there won't be anything else and the difference is, is that when you quit using toothpaste which does nothing and start using things that kill bacteria such as Dakin's and and baking soda you're going to see a vastly different situation right in the center here is a nice red blood cell at seven microns seven millionths of an inch across so it gives you a very good way to tell the size of some of the spirochetes that are around it this uh, red blood cell with, with phase contrast microscopy this stuff is visible whereas Without it, it isn't. There's a really, there's some huge spirochetes in this in this particular uh, slide, and some odds and ends of other things in here. If you focus up and down, you get to see other other items going on. Here at the top of the screen is a polymorphonuclear leukocyte with lots and lots of spirochetes around it, and you can see the tremendous cellular activity. Nice live cell, doing fine. Some of the others down here, like this one down here, this guy's dead see nothing in there but we, these kind of cells we later see uh, that they become infested with with bacteria bacteria invade these cells and get inside the cell wall and they can't get out it's really quite interesting here's another wonderful little guy we see in here just a tremendously active little guy um, this kind of activity and really quite intriguing I never cease to be amazed at what we can pick up with our phase contrast microscopy working with these patients. Up here at the top of the screen, you can see the numbers of spirochetes in here. Large, large numbers of spirochetes. Some really big, ugly ones that are very, very thick. Some very long, thin ones. Uh, some of the very, very tiny ones they, they don't show up so well even at 1200 power so and this is a this is a 400 um, power objective lens but when coupled with the video amplification we get up to about 1200 power and you can see the size of the red blood cell here and how big and wonderful it is looking at that thing and then on over we have a PMN that's dead this is one of the kinds of cells that we see with bacteria entrapped inside of them and you can see the tremendous number of large spirochetes around it. There's a very long one here probably a good 15, 16 micron long spirochete here and you can see the tremendous activity these guys have. Just an amazing amazing thing. Right next to that PMN there's a huge long spirochete here and then you see other types.